This is one of the ugly scenes in which the youth were demonstrating at the KCCA wanting to know about the youth fund a couple of weeks ago. One of the reasons attributed to such chaos has been the delayed decision by KCCA to decide on which organizations should distribute the money to the youths. Banks were not an option when the fund was first introduced because of the 15% interest rate levied on the loans, yet the loans were said to be interest-free during the launch of the youth fund. However, though the youth demonstrated against the whole idea, KCCA has made an ultimate decision on the matter as announced today. Following a decision of the uh, authority, the authority, the funds for the youth can now be accessed through uh, Centenary Bank. What we are finalizing now is the memorandum of understanding, memorandum of understanding between KCCA and Centenary Bank. And once this is finalized, which is going to be very soon, the funds will be available and an announcement to the effect will be made. Meanwhile, as this decision was being taken, another anonymous person was sending messages to different people that the funds will be distributed today at Nachevobo Blue. But Jennifer Musisi disputes this. I'm not aware of uh, any invitation to any youth this morning on any matter. So whoever invited them was masquerading as KCCA. I hope they've been arrested because that's illegal. 400 groups were identified from different groups of Kampala and KCCA had already released 1 billion shillings to 140 registered groups. 3.3 billion shillings was allocated as youth fund to the Kampala youth. Irene Namialo, NTV.